Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to learn about the open subdiv modifier. Actually, this is not a very original modifier. It replaces or not exactly replaces, but uh, works like a uh, turbo smooth. Uh, doesn't do anything new except one thing. Uh, it introduces a new way to sharpen the edges, sharpen the corners uh, of objects. As you know from before, if we apply a turbo smooth to an object like this, uh, it would smooth a lot, right? And you want, if you want to create sharper or uh, more creased edges, then you need to introduce new edges to the object. Let's uh, try that in this example, for example. If I apply the turbo smooth, if I want to sharpen these corners, let's introduce some iterations uh, to make it more smooth. If uh, I go back to edit poly, what I need to do is I need to uh, grab this uh, swift loop and introduce new edges. And as you can see, even for a simple shape like this, I need to introduce like one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven, I guess, <laughs> uh, edges, new edges. And it will make uh, editing this a little bit tedious. I'm going to show this to you in a minute. But you can see that the final result is, let's say, uh, this is what we want. Okay. Now let's do the same thing with uh, open sub the, the new modifier I was talking about. And uh, then I'm going to try to edit both of these and you will uh, see the difference. And it has a much uh, greater advantage, by the way. Uh, and I'm going to show that uh, in a separate example. But whatever, let's uh, work with this one. I'm going to apply an open subdiv in here, uh, increase the iterations, and you can see that this shape uh, it has uh, softer edges, just like Turbo Smooth. But if we introduce some uh, creaseness to the edges, then Open Subdiv will understand uh, that it needs to sharpen those corners, and it will sharpen them without introducing new edges. And it's very cool. I'm going to show this to you in a minute, in a second. And as you can see, this just works like uh, Turbo Smooth. What you need to do to introduce some creaseness is to go back to Edit Poly. Let's uh, disable Show and Result for now and select the edges that we want uh, to sharpen. I'm going to hit 2 for that and just choose these edges. Select these edges. And then I'm going to uh, click on show and result to for you to see what's going on in real time. But uh, first, uh, I want to be sure that the right edges are selected and uh, also you can see that. Now let's uh, click show and result. And actually let's hit F4 as well uh, because um, I want to be able to see the shape a little bit better. Now there is a, in under edit edges there is a uh, new box called edit properties as you can see and here is the crease uh, value. If I hold alt and pull this up, uh, the reason I'm holding alt is uh, I want to be more gentle uh, about this uh, or increasing this uh, value. And if I hold alt and just pull this up, you can see that as I pull it up, the corners are getting sharper and sharper. And if you go way up. Uh, they will be uh, this sharp. Okay. Actually, this is a little bit too much, so let's decrease that a little bit. Uh, it also uh, we also need to increase the iterations for this to uh, work a little bit better. As you can see, if I increase the iterations, uh, I can see this a little bit better. And you can see that these two look identical. Uh, nearly identical. I guess the uh, corner radiuses are a little bit off, but whatever. And uh, But if I go back to Edit Poly, the great news is uh, there are no... Let's hide the Open Subdiv for now and hide the Turbo Smooth. And you can see that we have a lot of nasty edges in here, but no edges uh, in this version. So this is a great, great advantage. So uh, if you ask, and you are right to ask, uh, why aren't we using Open Subdiv? Why are we using Turbo Smooth? Why did you show us Turbo Smooth? The reason for this is Open Subdiv is relatively new. So uh, people use Turbo Smooth, still use Turbo Smooth in their uh, workflows a lot. 
Uh, and it's not exactly new. It's, I guess it's been four or five years that uh, since it's been introduced to 3ds Max. But uh, most of the workflows are older than that, so uh, I guess it's relatively new. And also the second reason is this is a very generic way of modeling. So if you, for example, want to um, export this model to ZBrush, for example, then ZBrush will understand it, it, when you subdivide the object in ZBrush, it will behave exactly like TurboSmooth, not like OpenSub. If you export this and apply the subdivide, it will be soft uh, because it won't understand the edge creases, for example. So a lot of different softwares um, still understand TurboSmooth, but can't uh, really understand open, what OpenSub is doing. So, and also uh, let me tell you that uh, in your workflow, as the years go by, maybe you are new to 3D modeling, but uh, in your workflow, as the years go by, you will uh, there will be a lot of different softwares, like maybe Marvelous Designer if you are um, working on cloth-like objects, or maybe ZBrush if you are uh, into sculpting or um, Substance Painter if you are creating textures or whatever. So uh, you still need to keep in mind uh, that the 3D content you are creating should be able to understand, uh, should, be able, should be understandable with uh, by other softwares, okay? Okay, with that said, in some situations, I really uh, use OpenSoft, not TurboSmooth. The, the, uh, I'm going to show you the situation now. Uh, let's delete this and there's a very tedious uh, thing to do with edit poly and that is creating extrusions from uh, round edges let me show what I mean if I if I apply edit poly to a simple cylinder and uh, let's extrude uh, some edges uh, some polygons and then apply turbo smooth on this and you will see that uh, let's actually um, introduce some cap segments as well so that this looks smooth okay uh, one more yeah okay now um, this is very tedious because if you want to sharpen these corners, you have a big problem. Uh, let me show what that problem is. Uh, because this uh, cylindrical side uh, face is round already, if you create a new edge like this in here, it will also sharpen those uh, edge, uh, that face actually. As you can see, they have a ugly, ugly edge in here and we can see that in turbo smooth but let's get rid of the turbo smooth and apply an open subdiv modifier and uh, go back to edit poly and hit 2 uh, select these edges and hit show end result Let's increase the crease value and you can see that it's very cool. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this, I, I, I was about to cry, really. And it's very cool that it gets, uh, it creases those edges or sharpens those corners edges. And as you can see, this edge in here is perfectly smooth still because we didn't introduce any new edges or whatso whatsoever. And I can just go back to open side and increase uh, the iterations a little bit more so that I have a smoother result. Uh, but this is very, very cool. Uh, I, If you want, want to create something like this, I really recommend you to use open and um, it helps me or speeds up my process a lot in a lot of situations. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. Uh, I'm not going to create a, a real life example with this because uh, it's just like TurboSmooth. It's nothing new, but it's a way to reduce uh, workload in TurboSmooth, I guess. Uh, maybe one last thing I want to talk about. Uh, I realized that I forgot to mention editing. Let's undo these. Okay, this doesn't let me undo. Cool. Let's create, recreate the uh, pool-like example. I'm going to 
extrude these faces and maybe delete these faces okay now uh, and let's create a copy of this uh, as you can remember in the first example what we created was uh, with turbo smooth so I'm going to create those edges now uh, one thing I forgot to mention was uh, when you want to edit this uh, this one is really simple if you for example let's say we want to uh, introduce a slope to these edges for example if I go to two, uh, hit 2 and just pull these in just double click and pull these in and it's just right away we can do this but if you want to do the same thing to uh, with this uh, object uh, I guess you are seeing what I mean uh, even selecting is uh, tedious I'm going I can bring this in but we have this type of weirdness in here so I have to select this edge as well pull this in I have to select this and actually we should forget this one and pull this out and this is very like you can right away see that it's really easy to make mistakes in here and it takes much more time okay so editing is uh, a lot easier with open sub as well okay so again thanks for listening i hope this was useful for you um, if you find it useful please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button uh, thanks for listening see you in the next lesson